What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Darian and on my channel I go by the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. This channel focuses on how you can look your best and smell amazing each and every day. So I talk about fragrances and I talk a little bit about fashion. And today I'm going to be talking about five of my favorite fragrances from the house of Prada. So if fragrances and fashion sound like something you'd be interested in, I invite you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, take a quick moment to go ahead and hit that bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I release new content on the channel. Guys, my top five fragrances is something that I do on this channel. Uh, periodically, I've done several top five videos, which I think I'm going to go ahead and do like a playlist. So any of my top five uh, videos I've done in that segment, you can just kind of go back and watch those videos. But in that segment, I focus on a particular house. And I talk about the top five fragrances that I have in my collection from that house. And like I said, today we're going to be focusing on the House of Prada. So if you want to know what my top five fragrances are from the House of Prada, you know how we get down. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. As always, today I'm enjoying a cup of coffee in my favorite coffee mug. I always tell you there's nothing better than talking about fragrances and enjoying a cup of coffee. I don't know what it is about that combination of things, but it just works for me. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Right, the first fragrance up on the list today, this one right here, guys, Prada Pour Own Intense, the one in the black bottle. Now, this bottle may look relatively familiar to you, but the color is different. Yes, because this is the Intense version of the original Prada Amber Pour On. But guys, this is a very, very unique fragrance. You get a little bit, just a slight hint of the DNA from the original, but this one goes in a completely different direction. This one is spicy. This one is masculine. This is leathery, amber, uh, patchouli, tonka bean, goodness right here in this bottle and it's a very unique scent dna i've talked about this one before and i talked about the fact that it's such a unique um scent dna and man and i'm telling you i've looked around so that you still can find this one although i don't think it's in production anymore but you still can find this so, so the number five fragrance that i've chosen in my collection from my prada collection would be this one right here prada amber pour on intense because it's a very unique scent DNA. All right, guys, and coming in at the fourth spot, I've talked about Prada Amber Pour Homme Intense, so I gotta mention the original Prada Amber Pour Homme. Most people deem this as one of the best clean, fresh, out of the shower, soapy fragrances that you can find on the market. This is an Oriental Fougere that was released in the year 2006, and to this day, I do sincerely believe it's kind of holding on to that title in the eyes of a lot of fragrance connoisseurs because that's just what you get in the bottle. It's just very, very sophisticated and clean, but it's a very, um, as I just said, a sophisticated clean soapiness. There's nothing uh, cheap or, or, or inexpensive or synthetic smelling about this particular fragrance. Again, uh, sometimes when you get those fragrances that, that fall into that clean, soapy category, those words, a lot of times you find may be associated with it from some of the users, but not in this case. This smells very clean. It smells, it smells very expensive, and it smells very, very luxurious. So it's a luxurious, uh, very clean, soapy bar of soap. That's what this smells like. So most people that have put their nose on this one really, really enjoys that clean soapy quality because that's just the type of fragrance that you're going to need in your collection you need something that's very very clean fresh and easy to wear and this one definitely falls into that category and since it's known quintessentially as one of the best clean soapy fragrances it had to be on this list so the number four fragrance in my collection from the house of prada is prada amber pour on all right guys now coming in at the third spot this fragrance was released in the year of 2017 and it started to make some noise when it hit the market. 
This one is from the Lunarosa line, and this is Prada Lunarosa Carbon. Prada Lunarosa Carbon. You guys see how much of this fragrance I've actually used. And for a guy like myself that has an extensive uh, fragrance collection, that is saying a lot that I've used that amount out of one bottle. But guys, this is just a fantastic, easy to wear, grab and go signature scent worthy fragrance in my collection. When it first hit the scene, a lot of people started comparing this fragrance to Dior Sauvage, which that was a very fair comparison because this does remind you to some extent of Dior Sauvage. But from day one, when I put my nose on it, I could tell it was something different. And to me, it's that aromatic quality that comes from lavender. The lavender in this fragrance, when you compare it to Dior Sauvage, serves as a very uh, somewhat of a calming agent in this fragrance so it's not as as edgy as uh dior sauvage and it's not as as loud uh for lack of better words as dior sauvage but it still gives you that mass appealing goodness that people love about dior sauvage and so with that being said uh having that sauvage kind of dna you can understand why so many people love this fragrance and i'm included in that number so Again, if you're looking for something that's a signature scent worthy and easy to wear and mass appealing, this is one of the best that Prada has to offer. So, coming in at the third spot, this is Prada Lunarosa Carbon. All right, guys, and coming in at the number two spot on this list is a twofer. Uh, I have two fragrances that I'm going to show you here, and this is Prada Loam and Prada Loam Intense. Prada Loam and Prada Loam Intense. This is like Al Bundy, love and marriage. You can't have one without the other. So <clears throat> when I talk about this being in the number two spot, just like I talked about Prada Amber Pour On being the kind of known as the quintessential soapy, clean fragrance. This is known as the quintessential office fragrance, Prada Loam. And in my humble opinion, when they came out with Prada Loam Intense, they made this scent DNA even better because it performs even better, of course, than this one, and it lasts longer on the skin, and it kind of gives, adds a leathery kind of masculine uh, tinge to this fragrance. Again, absolutely love this one, and the scent DNA is very, very similar uh, by making this version right here more intense, but again, <clears throat> I had to include them both because it's really the same fragrance. For the most part, it's kind of added some leather, a little bit more masculine qualities to this one and increase the performance but again this is a very nice clean iris based fragrance and it's really really hard not to enjoy the scent dna of this so coming in at the number two spot we have prada loam prada loam intense all right guys and coming in at the number one spot from the house of prada and again this is the fragrance that i have in my collection you know, there's some that I don't have. So in my collection, my favorite Prada fragrance is this one right here, Prada Lunarosa Black. This is the last release from the Lunarosa line. And if this is the very last one, then the old adage would hold true right here. Prada saved the best for last. Because out of all the fragrances in the Lunarosa line, to me, this one is the best one. And this is just kind of sweet, ambery goodness in a bottle all the notes in this fragrance are enveloped by the warmth of a beautiful ambery accord in this fragrance there's some angelica in this that i pick up patchouli would be another one of the main notes that i would bring uh, to the forefront to mention but man this is just a great fragrance and again if this is the last iteration of the prada lunarosa line they definitely saved the best for last this is my favorite fragrance from prada in my collection so coming in at the number one spot this is Prada Luna Rosa Black. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video as I gave you my top five fragrances from my Prada fragrance collection. I always appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos because, of course, I know you don't have to watch, but you took a few moments to watch this video, so I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. And share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find me entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time guys, keep looking good.
keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.